what we have done in our booth here in IMC is try to create an entire digital experience which has different parts of the stall. One is a digital city, one is an application on digital home, one is a digital enterprise and the other is what could happen in the digital networks of tomorrow. So besides showcasing various products that we have uh, coming in the future in terms of the path to 5G, what we are mainly concentrating in our stall here is putting across use cases and most of the use cases that we are demonstrating here are use cases that we think are relevant for the India market. I will start with the demo here which is uh, the real 5G equipment that we have here uh, transmitting live in IMC of real 5G radio between these two terminals where we have taken spectrum from uh, the government for this event and we are actually showing a live 5G demonstration showing a speed of almost 10 Gbps throughput that we are able to achieve with a latency of less than 1 millisecond which are the key requirements of 5G in the future. Using this demo here on what is possible in 5G, we move to the use cases and the first use case I have here is this robotic use case which is called a balancing ball. What we are showcasing here is that when I move this ball here and it is moving on a Sorry, it is moving on a normal network. You see how difficult it is for the robots to balance the ball in the middle. Now, when I move this into a 5G environment, the same ball that I is almost balanced on a real-time basis. Now, this could be a potential use case of low latency in tomorrow's smart factories or industry 4.0 applications where we could use low latency applications like this to control robots. Besides this, we have a number of use cases here demonstrated which are very close or which we think would be relevant for the India environment. The first one that I am showing here is what we call uh, smart education or why we call it the Shik Shiksha app where what we are showcasing here is how virtual reality will make education and smart education possible for the 200 million students who need to be educated with real time experience. So what you see here is in order to be able to do all this you need high throughput, you need low latency and you need all the things that 5G requires. And you could build that on virtual classrooms or actually going into a chemistry lab or a bio lab or a real classroom to be able to learn better. And remotely a person could be actually be able to see a virtual chemistry lab and do experiments at a remote basis in order to get the real experience if they don't have the accessibility to those things. Similarly, this could be a bio lab where you know you are actually seeing a micro, uh, you, 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 the, the equipment there, how it is, operations performed just from learning. We have also integrated this with virtual reality and using the virtual reality you could actually be inside a virtual classroom with a 360 degree view of what is being taught there and how it has been uh, transmitted so the learning becomes much more effective and much more agile uh, in that perspective. Over here we have another interesting use case uh, which is again very relevant for India of how medical needs can be brought closer using 5G as a technology. So this model that you see here is a smart ambulance model where what we are saying is that smart ambulance is connected with all the equipment which is required inside the ambulance to do the vital stats of a patient. So not only is the ambulance connected and transmitting as to temperature, pulse, blood pressure, other vital stats over the air into a cloud network where doctors are advising people on the ambulance or the paramedics in order to take corrective action in order to save lives and going forward we are also saying we will we have integrated this application to a smart city application where the ambulance is also connected to traffic lights so while it is crossing if it sees a red light the ambulance gives a signal and the light turns green so that right of way for the ambulance uh, becomes 
becomes accessible and the ambulance is given the first preference. What we also can integrate this in the future is if you see congestion on the road in the front, then the ambulance can decide. The ambulance might be coming from X hospital, but because the patient's need is that you cannot reach that location in a stipulated period of time, the ambulance takes an alternate path and goes to another hospital which is nearby, thereby saving lives. So that is the kind of use case that we have uh, demonstrated here. Going forward, we move into uh, something which could happen completely in the future. And uh, there is one use case that we have here besides this is the microwave equipment but and this is the base station which will make that happen but what you could do is if you see this uh, demonstration of a robot here the robot is able to sense not only see but also sense and feel what is happening at a remote location so if you can move forward this robot is at a remote location and and at the remote location there are these different types of surfaces one is a rough surface the other is a smooth surface now this is at a factory location or at some other location at a remote location you have this particular robot and what I can do is that when I touch the surface I'm actually able to feel whether what kind of surface it is so not only are we transmitting able to see what it is there but also feel what is happening and if I turn this around and move it to the smooth location and you, you I mean you are not able to feel it but I am able to feel it that you will now with the smooth surface the, the whole thing becomes much more easier I can I can actually feel it's a smooth surface so this is something which is futuristic which will happen in the future but these are interesting stuff which will uh, are giving the possibilities of what uh, you know 5G can bring in terms of uh, the future. Then we move into what we call uh, how digital home or environment of the home can be made more effective. Uh, this is an interesting case of a football match where uh, in the football match what you are able to see is that you are not only able to be inside the football match and see what is happening around it but we are making it interactive here whereby by wearing this VR goggles I am actually inside the match and I am playing with the goalie so I am the one who's shooting the ball I can see the ball right in front of me uh, as a virtual ball and I'm able to kick that ball and score or not score the goal so not only am I able to see the experience of what is inside but actually be able to play the game uh, virtually uh, while I, I, I am in the game so so this is the future entertainment which is uh, possibly possible we move on to the next section which is something we call as the just one second please. something we call as the digital home so we have created an actual live home environment this is a kitchen floor where we are saying the homes of the future need to be connected on high bandwidth so it could be 5G as a technology, it could be PON or fixed wireless as a technology, whatever the technology, we are then moving inside the home and we have these new products that we have launched which are Wi-Fi dongles. These are plug and play equipment. So you could have a, 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 a beacon like this in every floor of the house and a three floor house you could entirely wire up uh, with a Wi-Fi network. You can also control your Wi-Fi network if you see from here in terms of what the Wi-Fi network is able to achieve which person which device is consuming more you can lock devices you can prioritize devices you can self heal the network you can make your Wi-Fi much more effective in terms of how the home environment is going to be uh, able to uh, deliver to the end user
Moving on, uh, we have a whole bunch of demos here, which are talking about how the technology will enable. So there is there are demos on network slicing, there are demos on artificial intelligence. This is talking about what needs to be done in the networks of tomorrow in order to make all this possible. And there are solutions that we have across. What we have also shown here, if you see an IoT platform with Wing, this we feel is a very big game changer in the sense that in order to set up an IoT ecosystem, every operator needs an IoT platform. But there might not be immediate use case to be able to do IoT because the volume will be less. So Nokia will provide a shared IoT platform which is called a Wing which will be able to give capacity to operator A, B, C with X amount of capacity and tomorrow when they grow and become bigger in terms of the use case, they can decide to purchase their own. So we are enabling the whole I IoT ecosystem much faster so that it can develop uh, in, 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 a, in, a, in a faster way across when 5G and beyond uh, becomes real. Uh, so just an overview of uh, what we are demonstrating. Of course, there are many other demonstrations on new products that we are launching on our IP, on our optical, on our fixed portfolio. Uh, I think the main thing is that uh, Nokia, we uh, believe, is a very strong vendor from an end-to-end -end portfolio perspective. And I think we are able to stitch the solution from one end to the other in the right spirit and the right form to make it work for the world of the future. Thank you very much.